Okay, we're going to do another dungeoneering run. The last one went very well, 10 wins. I was quite happy with that. So, a similar result here would be fantastic. So, we've used Ariane, we've used the Raptor. Raptor did very well last time. The Ariane draft was terrible though, so I think we're going to go for that again and hopefully get a better result. Stagger straight away, bam, get it done. Solomon or Chaos Druid. Chaos Druid is actually not too bad in Dungeoneering because uh, what you draw out can be used fairly easily. Solomon is just, it's very good. Um, it's got quite a lot of versatility with sustain and a weapon. This is not so good. Let's go for the Trucker and the Hammer. Just because we can play them. Um, here, well, let's get the Lobster. Bind, hmm, maybe, maybe not though. Don't use Undead Cow, it's a very select card. I don't know why this isn't a Vanescular card, because that's really the only deck which can effectively use it. We'll go for the Store Potion. And now, oh, Curse Bearer. <laughs> uh, let's not play that. Uh, we'll go for the Snail, and we'll go for... Let's go for the Academy. Scimitar is actually very good, but if we're getting gold, we want to be spending it on spell box. If we get the spell box, we don't have the gold yet anyway. So going for high gold things is not very wise. Wind surge. We don't want to be really spending base attack. We're going to get a charos and we're going to go for the healer. And here, Cerador is just Cedrador. Sorry, is amazing. Just just use it all the time. Okay, spell book. Perfecto. Why is that all gone a bit blurry? Okay, so don't use Chaos Elemental. It's this powerful effect. It's too hard to hit, especially in Dungeoneering. Tormented Demon. Perhaps, perhaps. I think we will. Base attack is useful. Probably won't be able to hit it, but still. Now we can get our gold. So we'll go for more sane. We don't want to be hurting ourselves. Our healing is too sporadic. But we really need the gold. So we'll go for that. Bit more gold here coming up. We'll go for the soldier. And let's go for the healer again. So we've got two healers now. More gold, fantastic. We'll go for that same combination. Right, here. Customs officer is great because we need gold. Asphyxiate is great because asphyxiate, asphyxiate. Uh, slime Toes, and we're not going to be able to hit Kezek. We'll go for that to get a bit more card draw, a bit of more healing. Now, yes, always pick this if you're not a bit unsure, because getting rid of equipment is great. And we've already got one Occultist, may as well go for another. We really want some more base attack. It's unfortunate we haven't got any. If you have one base attack going to, well, we're not going to be able to use that. If you have one base attack, well, uh, this is a pain. Anti-fire. Let's go for the rat anyway. Um, and we'll go for the bam. We might get grief to be able to use it. And final, final thing. We have a lot of gold. We only have one spell book. Bill Rack, we're not going to be able to play. I mean, we have lots of weapons, but none of them are very big. We only have one base attack game, and that's from a tormented demon. Party hat, potentially. But I think we might actually go for another Papa Mambo deck. <laughs> we have two potions here, we've got one here, so that's four. Four potions. And we, yeah, I, re I reckon, you know. Let's go Papa Mambo, screw it. And Lexica's Room Rice is actually very good. We don't think we need the gold from Party Hats. Right, going straight in. So, this is our second Ariane deck. In the first video where I did Ariane in Dungeoneering, I said the moral of the story was not to pick Papa Mambo. In this deck, I have picked Papa Mambo. Looks like I'm going first. What to do here? Um, I think we're going to keep all of them, apart from one. We can play all these. Potentially should have hard mulligan to try and get that ancient spellbook. Ancient spellbook is the spellbooks in general, 
are just so good in dungeon knowing. Ancient is great because you can move base attack and deal damage. Uh, the, the other one's great for vengeance, leaving us about look. We're going first, which is fairly handy, which means we can get griefed on our first slot. I think if we go Caliphate, Sedridor. You've earned the right to use it, well, I'm sure. Um, this will deal 6 damage to us. We're never really. Well, we've got a few weapons, I guess. Okay, we're not going to use that yet. We're going to go. Going to go for this. That will heal us back up. They might do a bit of damage. We're going to need a few more cards. They're going Shug straight away. Slot 1 Shug is an unusual play. It's a Malzar. But. They're going to regret that. Seven damage. Not a bad ma Not a bad Archmage Sedridor. Can't even pronounce today. Not a bad Archmage Sedridor. Kale. And Frankenstrain. Not great to use that in your last slot. I guess they want the gold. We got another cabbage. I hope you like cabbage, guys. Now, we have Stagger. And we've got the goal to use it. That's really our only good play. Stagger. Oh, should we. Char. Charos into Stagger. Now, we could technically play Tormented Demon. Um, I don't think we should. I reckon we should go Troll Chucker and we'll go for the Snail. We don't want to be giving them health yet. So hopefully, we can. Uh, bring them in the situation where they're looking to heal themselves. If you know what I mean. So, once we bring their health down, then they are looking to heal. Then, if we use Gnome Healer, that means remove all your gold and make next support free. Okay. So, when we use Gnome Healer and they're already on high health because they're healing, then it really limits um, how much we give health to them. Well, they are 9 at the moment, so I think 8 even, should I say. High rate men at the end, so I think we've done a pretty good play. They're going to be on 4 health, and they're not going to get anything from their high rate man. So not healing now was a good idea. Not healing them, should I say. So, we need to do 4 damage to them. You know what does four damage? Torments a demon. It's really cheeky. That will kill him. <laughs> so let's just do that. Sorry, Mr. J Wolf. Normally, I would advise not attacking Torments a demon from two base attack, but in this situation, it works out quite well. Hopefully we get a few good wins, I can get some gem shards from this and I'll be able to craft a legendary, or a diamond should I say. Alright, so we're going to get 142, not too bad. We're going to go straight into the next game now, so we'll see what the results are. Well, they conceded the game, which was really annoying because I was doing very well. I would have liked to actually finish that off, never mind. But, we win the game, that's all that matters in the end. Engine 54. Alright, next game. And the disc match that Solomon's Medini might swing it for them. Let's find out. Nope, we've got it. So, another win. Quite handy that. I pulled off um, two Zemurak in Accordus in one chapter and basically because of that they did nothing for the rest of the game because they are too scared of, of Asphyxiates. So that was quite handy. I don't think I actually pulled off any damage from my Asphyxiates. I played all four, no damage. It's ridiculous. But I've got the win and I've got the reward. 
next game. Coming to the end of this game. I think I've got it. Yeah, I've got it. It's going to be quite a long final fight with lots of hitting each other on two base attack. Come on, speed it up. Yep, so we've got that. I could have played it a bit better actually. I ended up with a full hand and no gold and it was quite diff quite annoying. But yeah, I managed to play Aphyxia, um Lexicus Moonwright and um, the Spellbook. So that was pretty good. And yeah, three lives left still and we, uh, we've got four wins. So this is going very well. Next game. I think I've lost this because of the grief. So this was meant to be quite a nice simple. Yeah, I've lost it. That's interesting. So they use Wizard Trayborn and Dr. Fenkenstrain. When I was expecting to reduce the attack of that Tormented Demon, it actually increased it. So fair play to them, they did a good job. Perhaps I should not have played that monster, who knows. Still, we're in the lead. Well, I say in the lead. We're in profit, should I say. Um, next game. So right, this person can see did as well. A tasty lemon. They were playing quite well until that last chapter where I managed to asphyxiate them for 18 damage. Oh well. Bit more gem shards, bit more copper. Good. Next game. Ancient Spellbook Mirror here. Oh well, fairly easily as well actually. They did not use their spell book very well. Okay, hundred gold or copper there. Let's see what rewards we get. So we now certainly. That's a pretty good reward. We certainly have enough for um, Red Bear Frank, which I'm going to craft at the end of this. So if you want to see that, stage. So they disconnected and therefore conceded. So didn't really do anything there, just one chapter. Pretty even at the end of the first chapter. Not sure if I um, stopped the recording too early last time, but I said I'm going to be crafting Red Bear Frank at the end of this. Um, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be changed quite soon, but you know, still worth crafting. Next game. That was a bit annoying. They got rid of my weapon as I was about to use it. We're both on one base attack, and it meant I died from my Let's Room right. So, uh, good job. But not so good for me. Bit unfortunate. I think we still have one life left. Yeah, we do. So, next game. Let's see how it goes. So, this is another win. We're now going to go on to the final floor of Dungeoneering. And we got level up as well, so we're nearly at the max level for Ariane now, despite I never play Ariane in Constructed. What do we get? 61373. So, you know, this is pretty decent win profit this round again. Let's go into the next game, see how we go. Well, I lost that one thanks to a last minute earth wave. Quite annoying really, if I went to the next chapter I would have been able to survive thanks to the ancient spell book I was about to play and be able to then heal up for 8, but never mind. We still have a pretty decent reward, not complaining about that. Now, finally, get to go here, plenty of gem shards. Now I want Frank. I don't have this yet, it's really good. This card is um, highly likely to change. In fact it's guaranteed to change. How though we don't know, so it would be quite interesting to be able to play it before and after when it's changed on the 13th of July. I'm not even sure if we'll be able to publish this video before then, but hopefully I should be able to. But yeah, this is going to be, it's a great card at the moment, hopefully it'll be a great card later on, but Right now I want it for my ranked Finescular deck, which if this is effective in it, I'll be making a video on soon. But yeah, let's uh, let's craft it. 
boom. A bit of flank. Right, that's all. Uh, that's all we've got time for here. Stay tuned for more chronicle content coming soon.